What's up, YouTube? This is Chris, a.k.a. Barn on 11970. Thank you, as always, for checking out my video. And I got another event that I want to post because it doesn't guarantee anything's going to happen, but it would be one heck of a coincidence if, you know, heaven forbid, something were to happen. Um, I was warning people on my Facebook page about the um, Craigslist, about an event where they were hiring crisis actors for around the 4th of July in Houston, and less than a week later, from that specific time period, um, there was a shooting. So somebody else sent me a link, and I'm going to show you this, another Craigslist um, ad looking for crisis actors. Um, and I'll give the information. Um, I don't know if the person wants their name um, done, but I want to give credit where credit is due. So I'm just going to say their first name, Emily. Thank you for sending me this information. Um, I don't put people's full names or usernames unless they say it's okay. So, let me show you this ad. This is Role Player Disaster Exercise. I love how they call it. Um, they're saying between August 3rd and August 6th, Linsenberg. Now, I've never heard of that before, so they have a Google map here. So, I scrolled out, and that is New Hampshire, borderline Massachusetts. So, if there's any kind of situation between August 3rd and August 6th, somewhere in that area, probably a little bit after that, because that's when they're looking for the exercise, but around the uh, town of Linz uh, Linsborg, or anywhere near the border of New Hampshire and Massachusetts, that could make this interesting. So, I'm just showing this, and there's a compensation, $15 an hour. So, there are people who sell out their country, provided this happens, for a small fee. So, I'll read what it says, but it says, Arrow Security and Training LLC provides realistic injured victims for small and large disaster training exercises for the National Guard and local emergency management agencies to enhance the critical skills training of our community's first responders and homeland defense forces. Quality and motivated role players are crucial to help making these training events a success. And yeah, more than people know. Uh, this, uh, this greatly improves the skills of volunteer and professionalism first responders at a local community level, as well as the state and federal level of emergency response. If you think you would like to become part of the solution, help with this effort, and make some money, it's always about fiat debt notes, uh, please take a few moments to download and complete our application. Our website is arrowsecuritytraining.com. Look for Current Opportunities tab for Download Application button, then follow instruction on web page or call for help with the process. Principals only, recruiters, please do not contact this poster, blah, blah, blah. So, this was posted 22 days ago. So, it could be fake, it could be a distraction, it could be nothing, but uh, if we give advance notice and this happens to happen again then it, you, you can't say it's a coincidence anymore. So I'm not claiming that anything's going to happen. I'm just posting what I saw, because if, you know, heaven forbid something does happen, all of a sudden around that area, around those days, well, that's two in a row that we've predicted, and that would really take away some of the coincidences. So um, this should be interesting. And another thing somebody mentioned... Um, Somebody was thinking about this, and uh, it really was amazing that they thought about this. That flight that went down um, just a couple of days ago, uh, the Malaysian airline flight. Well, wasn't there another uh, Malaysian air, uh, airline plane that disappeared that no one could find, which is the same exact type of plane? And the person made a comment and said, well, what if they took that plane that disappeared and just used that? for the supposed crash. Now, I said to the person, I think that would be hard to prove, but that's one heck of a aha moment to think about because people wondered, how could that plane just disappear and what would they do with it? Well, all of a sudden, another Malaysia airline plane goes down, which they didn't have to, if it's, you know, they didn't have to do much of a paint job because it would be the same airline and it was the same style of plane, a 777, I believe it was. Um... Who says they couldn't have done the old magic trick of uh, switching planes? That's an interesting thing to think about. So I'd love to hear people's opinion about that. Obviously, I can't guarantee that, and it would be uh, very difficult to prove that. 
But that is definitely something to consider, that that one Malaysian plane disappeared, and all of a sudden the same type of plane from the same type of airline all of a sudden shows that it's got gotten shot down. Who's to say that wasn't the missing plane? I mean, it would be kind of hard to prove it, but that's something to think about. But anyway, I'm going to keep this relatively short. I just thought I would show this exercise um, that they're trying to call it a disaster exercise between August 3rd and August 4th of this year around New Hampshire and Massachusetts border. So it's pretty much almost on the border. So I guess we'll see. So thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your night.